Okay, with this I'm going to show you how to get into the modes and to do the ventilator settings on the Hamilton G5. As you can say, as you can see it says check internal battery. What I'm going to do is our battery is dead, we know it. I'm just going to turn it off. Hit alarm silence. I can hit it again. My alarms are back on and it is now recognized that I know that my battery is not any good. Okay, if this were in the hospital, you would not operate it with a dead battery. It would go to bioengineering, biomed, and you'd have to get the battery replaced. Okay, this is where we typically will choose our patient. Since we don't have a true patient we're going to put it on, if, it was, if this were a new patient, I'd do adult, male or female, my height in inches, and then it would do my ideal body weight calculation for me. So since we're not doing that, we're just going to go on. So I'm just going to go there and that's how you change it. You can select it and either deselect with that, see the yellow ring, you can select with the knob by pushing it or select and then you change everything with the blue knob down here. Okay, what I'm going to do is since I'm happy with that I can either hit start and then start ventilating, but I don't have my settings in yet. Let's say the patient is still being uh, ambooed, bagged, whatever you want to call it. So I want to go into modes. This is my modes. Now we want to ventilate with volume. So we are going to come on this side over here. As you can see there, the first one is SCMV, Continuous Mandatory Ventilation, but it's Synchronized Continuous Mandatory Ventilation. As I've told you, many ventilators can no longer call it Assist Control because of copyright laws, so this is just another name that we have to remember. And then you have SIMV. These are the only two modes for this, ventil for this video. So I'm going to hit CMV. I'm going to hit continue, and this takes me into my title, my settings. So I want my eye time, here's TI, to be one second right there. That's one second. Now, I want my rate, I have to unselect that, so either touch screen, and I can come over here. I'm going to put my rate down to 12. I can accept it with the knob. We're there. My tidal volume is 500. I'm happy with that. PEEP of 5. And I want to turn the oxygen down to 21%. And then confirm. So it takes me back to my screen. I have my settings in. 12, 500, 5. A quick attach. You can, st you can even change them from over here. This side. Up, up to deselect. There. Now I can start my ventilation. And that is setting up the adult in the spontaneous controlled mandatory ventilation. But for this, we're going to have to go back and do an SIMV mode. So what we can do is go to modes, SIMV. Continue, brings up my settings. This is the backup. Everything, total volume 500, PEEP of 5, rate of 15. I want that to be rate of 12. Backup is if something happens, the patient stops breathing. Usually want this, we'll get into that in another video. 500, 21%, TI, one second. Go through my TI's one second. Everything good. Confirm. Now I'm in SIMV. Remember the SIMV, the only difference is the spontaneously triggered breaths. There's one. Spontaneous. Synchronized. 
This is giving me an alarm because I'm breathing too fast. That's all I need to set my alarms. We have not gotten to that yet. That was a synchronized. Okay, if you look down here, you can see a little bit of a diaphragm. That tells you when the patient's trying to take an effort. That was a timed. See no diaphragm? There's the diaphragm. Diaphragm. This will be a timed. I'm not triggering. See no diaphragm. Each ventilator has little idiosyncrasies on how to tell if it's a spot, if it's a patient assisted breath. This one will you'll see the diaphragm, and that'll let you know the patient's taking an effort. On top of that, depending on the mode, it'll be either be a spontaneous breath or an assisted breath. If the patient doesn't make an effort, make an effort, it's a mechanical or controlled breath. In assist control, there is no spontaneous breath. They're all assisted or machine or mechanical breaths. That is the Hamilton G5. Remember to get into the modes. To change the modes on the ventilator, all you do is hit modes, choose your modality, and hit continue. For this video, we're going to do the SCMV and the SIMV. You can do the control, the settings over here, the rate, tile volume, PEEP, oxygen, and that is the Hamilton G5.